Oh yeah! Welcome back everybody. I thought we'd still be working on Slicky here, but we are not, cause we got my buddy Conrad here. <laughs> we are working on the Datsun. Finally got, I'll show you everything. We finally got all the parts for the Datsun. I think I got a new carburetor. Yeah, it's a cheap Chinese one. Got the adapter for the carburetor. And hopefully that's all we're gonna need to get this thing going. I already got the old one off. I didn't really show a lot of this, but I had taken the old one off, tried to rebuild it, and it all just, there was no save in it. It was garbage. And taking it apart, it just, it didn't go well. So, we got a new carburetor. <laughs> I guess maybe for those who don't know, because I've put out very few videos of it already, this is my 1974, I think, Datsun 620 pickup. It's got air ride front and rear. It's a really sloppy system, and it hasn't been on the road since 93, so like 30 years. We're 24, so like 31 years. So yeah, today, hopefully, fingers crossed, we get her running. And then we can really get into doing some really cool stuff with this. So I'm going to set up the camera and we're going to get all that carb stuff on. And then we're going to try to get this thing going and doing burnouts. Just a real quick time lapse of me slapping that carburetor on there. Well, the adapter plate first and then the carb. Yeah, it took about four different size wrenches for uh, each of those bolts because they're kind of a pain to get to, at least the ones by the engine. Anyways, pretty simple really after the carb was on. And just fuel lines, vacuum lines, and throttle linkage. Throttle linkage was kind of a pain, but honestly, really wasn't too bad. Just had to bend the bracket a bit. All right, so we got a carburetor all hooked up. I got the battery on her. The battery's being charged. And uh, we're gonna turn her over, see if she starts. I gotta set you guys up somewhere. Somewhere up where you can see. Frick yeah, that's good enough. All right. Want me to cut it? Sure. All right, we're in round three now. Um, yeah, nothing else to say.
All right, we're at day two. I'll be honest, yesterday, it ran for like a minute. Maybe not quite a full minute, like good, like 15 seconds. And then it just went around again. And I kept spraying stuff down the car, but fire and die, fire and die. I just could not get it to stay running. So I'm positive it's a fuel issue. I don't know, maybe something's clogged between the tank and here. Maybe the fuel filter it doesn't look clogged. It's pretty brown, but maybe, I don't know. Something's going on with fuel. It's, it's just not getting fuel. Because right when I spray stuff down, it coughs off. So this morning, I got myself a jerry can with some fuel. Just disconnected the feed line. Just put it right up to the pump. And so she should be pumping. And then the return does go back. But uh, I am... I am so confident this is going to work. I got to find my keys here, but I'm so confident that we're just going to get in and we're going to fire this thing up. Batteries should still be plenty good from yesterday. I uh, do have a bit of a coolant leak, which likes to leak in here apparently, but let's get this thing going. It's going to work. I'm like so confident it's going to fire off. All right. How many pumps do we think? Like, two pumps? Oh, 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 yeah! 100%, it's just not getting fuel. Oh my goodness. Woo! All right. Back on. Let's see it. Oh yeah. Whew, it stinks in here. Oh my goodness. All right. I like, I knew it was gonna work. It's just everything told me. I just had to put a jerry can up to her and she would fire right off. Totally did. I was a little worried of fuel pump, but that fuel is so dirty. I'm not surprised something's wrong somewhere. So, anyways, I'm gonna see if I can figure out some way to Jimmy rigs some sort of fuel system up, even just a bottle so I can drive her and just call this one a success. Finally, man, I cannot tell you how many times I had the old carb on and off, trying to get it sorted and fixed, trying to make videos. This is probably like my fifth time trying to make this video, but I just didn't want to like have another failure with this thing. I wanted to be done with it running and we're making it happen. We're happening. It's happening this time. So, so thrilled about this. Let's find some fuel. Oh, sorry, let's find some uh, some sort of canister, maybe a Coke bottle. Let's uh, get this thing set up and drive her right out of here. I'm so pumped. This thing is freaking awesome. All right, guys. Well, I got the fuel system temporarily sorted. We'll get you know, a real fuel cell and get her together. But uh, man, putting this together real quick, I was thinking there is so much on this thing. I did not show you guys. I had the distributor all apart. But yeah, like I said, I had the carburetor, the old one on and off, rebuilt it like twice. Still had all these issues with it. I had no spark for a long time. Ended up being a computer in the cab that for some reason wasn't plugged in. Don't even know what it is, but whatever. It fixed it. And I just wanted a video so bad that this thing would run and drive in some capacity that I just, all those videos just never ended up being because they all were complete failures. And I guess I could have put them all into one big one, which I should have done, but uh, whatever. I guess that's what happens when projects sit for a long time. So I got a real fuel cell hopefully coming in the next week or two, maybe today, but I don't have time to put it in today. I got other work. So I did this. Is this a good idea? Probably not, but it should be enough. I even put the return back into it. 
this is the feed to the pump you know should work it's zip tied so i mean it'll work yeah that feels good man does this thing look good or what this thing is so freaking sick got her aired up i'll just jump in turn the key oh got to take the brake off brakes are off I left the keys in here. All right, this is gonna work. Come on, girl. Couple pumps. Woohoo! All right, reverse. Well, let's see if she goes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know what, actually? Oh, no brakes. No brakes at all. Oh, no power steering. Who needs power steering? Yeah, okay. Oh, brakes. Oh, if you pump them, there's not much. I am so thrilled, guys. This thing is gonna be so much fun this summer. Woo! All right, I set the brakes on her. Good. She ain't going nowhere. Oh, man. First project for this summer, running, driving. Yeah, she looks so good, so good in that stuff. I gotta hurry up, get Slicky on the road so I can put some seat belts in this thing, get her insured, start doing some wicked burnouts. Oof, she's a beaut. All right guys, anyways, this is gonna be it for me today. I gotta get back on Slicky because I got a video done for her. So, uh, you know the deal. Like, subscribe, all those things. And uh, I'll be right back in like hopefully a couple days for you guys. Adios.